what's the market like right now? Stick around as we get into that in a little bit further in the question of the day. What's going on, guys? Matt in the hat. Matt Johnson Real Estate, powered by Keller Williams Diamond Partners. You are tuned in to the hot list. I come to you on Monday through Friday around 12 o'clock Central Standard Time. We hang out and talk real estate. We talk properties new to the market with recent price reductions or something unique about the property that I want to share with y'all and want y'all to know. I also answer a question of the day that is submitted by a listener of the podcast to find out how you get your question answered on air. So just stick around till the end. Finally, I recognize and thank a sponsor of the week each and every single week. If you're curious about becoming a sponsor or what it takes to become a sponsor of the week and be recognized by the hot list, just hang out with me for a few and I will get you that info. So hopefully you guys are having a great week so far. I know here in uh, the Emporia area, it is a much better day because the high today is around 70 degrees where this time last week we were in the negatives. So what a difference a week can make. We are absolutely loving it here and hopefully you are as well. The property we are talking about today is a little bit different than what we normally talk about on the hot list. Normally we talk about residential properties. This one I wanted to throw something at y'all a little bit different. So the address is 0 East 305 Road. Why is it 0? There's not an address. Well, because it's a 160 acre section of land. It's currently listed for 360,000 courtesy of Crown Realty. This has got a great potential for deer as well as turkey. That uh, 160 is broken down into 87 and a half that is tillable. 13 and a half that is planted in CRP and uh, you've got another 38 acres that is fenced pasture land with the balance being a combination of timber as well as native grasses. Uh, there is a pond on the property as well and this is something you really got to check out for yourself so I've included a link in the description that's going to take you right to my website so you can see the property for yourself and take a look through it. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. Let me know, and I'm happy to answer what I can for you guys. If you're interested in the property, you're already pre-approved and not currently working with another agent, hit me up. Let me know. I would be happy to schedule a showing and take you out there, show you, show you around. Before I get to the question of the day, I do want to recognize and thank our sponsor of the week this week, and that is... Schinkel power washing and chimney sweeping. Uh, John does an incredible job. I talked about yesterday what he does as far as the chimney sweep, how he, he cleans it, he inspects it. Uh, he's done that for a number of my past clients as well. He also, and I bring this up because it it's going to gradually start getting warmer. Um, and what better way to get your house clean, jump into spring cleaning, then with somebody power washing the siding on your house. That's gonna get all of that, that potential mold, mildew from the outside. It's gonna get off any dirt or grime that has settled there over the winter as well. So uh, if you, if you wanna do something like that, because we know here in Kansas, a standard hose isn't gonna get it done. Uh, John's got a hell of a setup, so all you got to do is reach out to him and schedule an appointment with him. The best way is to call him directly, 620-794-8430. I've also included a link that will take you right to his Facebook page, so you can check his availability, his pricing, and contact him through Facebook as well. The weather's going to get warmer, and I damn sure know I'm not going to be out there power washing my house. Why? Well, I don't have a power washer. That's something that needs to be done on my house, which means I'm sure it needs to be done on your house. I don't own a power washer. John does. Only makes sense that uh, I would give him a call to get the, get the house tip top come spring cleaning time. So if you're curious about what it takes to become a sponsor of the week and want to be recognized by the hot list, all you got to do is shoot me a message or drop me a comment 
wherever you're listening to this, I would be happy to reach out to you, have a in-depth conversation about what it takes to become a sponsor of the week and support the hot list. I, I do have to say no to some people because for whatever reason, we may not mesh well or see eye to eye. And, you know, we just, we still part as friends. Uh, not everybody is or does become a sponsor of the week. So if you'd like some more information, make sure you drop a comment and let me know. So the question of the day, question of the day is submitted by a listener of the podcast to find out how you can get your question answered on air. All you got to do is shoot me a message or drop a comment, whether you're listening to this on iTunes, Spotify, or Facebook. And I will not only use that question for content for future episodes like this one, but answer that question for you as well. Many of you know that are familiar with the hot list and listen to the hot list that I get very similar questions over and over each and every single week, which is why on Tuesdays, what I do is I do a weekly market update because I get multiple questions that ask, what's the market doing right now? Is it hot? Is it cold? Is, are the interest rates going up? Are they trending down? What's, what's going to happen? How many houses are available? I get questions like this each and every week. That is why I do a market update on Tuesdays and that allows me to get some things closed out on Friday or Saturday to see what is up and running come Tuesday. So how we do this, the market is going to look a little bit different in the area that I live and I service versus the area that you live in. So if you don't live in or around this area, the market may look different. So these numbers aren't going to make sense to you. Depending on where you live, just shoot me a message. Let me know. I would be happy to find an agent that you could speak with that is a market expert in your area. So in the Lyon County, in Lyon County area, over the last seven days, we've had two listings that have come on the market. Twelve have gone under contract or sold. In the rolling 30 days that we do, we've had 10 that have come on the market. 49 have gone under contract or sold. The ones that have sold have an average days on market of 56 days in the six county surrounding area that I also service as well in the same last seven days there's been one house that has come on the market seven have gone under contract or sold in the same roll in 30 there's been six go go on the market 44 have gone under contract or sold those that have sold have an average days on market of 47 days so how do those days on market compare to the average in this multi-listing system? Uh, the average in this area as of January were 37 days. So we're trending a little bit higher than what the, what the average is. And then, of course, the national average is 76 days. We're well under that. So it's still a good, strong market. I also get asked about interest rates, and I will share those with you as well. So these interest rates are as of 9 o'clock this morning on Tuesday, February 23rd. The conventional, 30-year conventional is 3.09%. 15-year conventional is 2.74%. 30-year FHA is 2.89%, and 30-year VA is 2.99%. Those looking to refinance, there's a 30-year refi for 3.13% and a 15-year refi of 2.52%. So those are slightly higher than what they were over the last couple weeks. They're still trending relatively low, which is a good sign for both buyers and sellers. Now is still an incredible time to not just buy a house, but sell your home as well. With those rates low, it is beneficial to both buyers and sellers. So the market is going to be picking back up again as the weather gets warmer. There wasn't that much done over the last couple of weeks because it was so cold and in the negatives, which doesn't really get that cold typically in Kansas. So it kind of shocked everybody with the weather starting to warm up. People are going to be looking more, getting out more and doing more. So everything is pointing 
pointing good. So all you got to do is shoot me a message if you have any additional questions. And until tomorrow, I'm your host, Matt Johnson with Keller Williams Realty. I do this because your experience matters and should be trusted with a veteran. Y'all have a phenomenal day and I'll see you in here tomorrow. Take care.